I'm in Swansea this afternoon, meeting members of the Labour Party in the area. We were able to discuss a number of the things that really matter. One is access to health, the fact that in Wales there is no internal market in the NHS, there's no prescription charges, and there is 91% satisfaction rate with the National Health Service. There is education system, fully comprehensive education, no selection taking place, and the Welsh Government have managed to keep the educational maintenance allowance which allows working class children to progress and go on. So those kids may well end up in Swansea, in the university, doing the kind of high-tech engineering courses that are so necessary for the future of this country to develop our manufacturing industry. Last weekend there were some terrible events in Paris. A large number of young people doing what young people do on a Friday night, out enjoying themselves, listening to music, died in a hail of bullets and bombs. Absolutely terrible what went on. On top of that, those that died in the bombings that have taken place in Beirut and other places all across the world. It's simply wrong. In these terrible circumstances, we have to do two things. One is try and bring an end to the civil war in Syria, a political solution in Syria, and there are some signs, there is some progress being made on that, again, last weekend at the Vienna talks. But we also have to look to our own communities and make sure that there is no growth of anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, or racism in our society. We're strong because we're a multicultural, vibrant society. What's been amazing in the aftermath of Paris has been the numbers of people that have come together, embraced each other, put their arms around each other, supported each other. On Tuesday night, I went to the football match at Wembley, the England-France game, and it was just a great atmosphere of people going into the ground along the Wembley Way. All communities, all ethnic groups, just going there to show we're going to enjoy ourselves together and remember the tragedy of all those that died in Paris. Next Wednesday is going to be the autumn spending statement. I'm looking forward to what they're going to say on tax credits. We defeated them in the House of Lords on this, but at the moment the government is still intent on going ahead with the cuts in working tax credits, in addition to all the welfare cuts that are taking place. Quite simply, austerity is a choice made by the government, a political choice. John MacDonald made that very clear in his excellent speech in Parliament yesterday. We will be opposing them if they're going to impose more austerity on the people of Britain, whatever part of Britain they live in. I've been inspired by what I've seen today in Swansea and inspired by so many people so determined to achieve greater equality but above all real opportunity for young people within our society.